So hello everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Satish Upadhyay, and uh, we are going to start a video series like uh, where we will be uh, providing solutions to the uh, exercises uh, of uh, Arihant's book. So uh, in this uh, particular uh, video series, we will cover uh, uh, all the questions uh, from the Arihant's book and. Uh, it will be quite helpful uh, for those students who are like uh, who are practicing from this book and uh, i would like to suggest like uh, uh, before uh, uh, going to see these videos uh, you first uh, give a genuine uh, genuine try to attempt the questions given in the exercises uh, so that uh, it will be add a, uh, it, it will value uh, it will add uh, some value to your uh, preparations and uh, like uh, you will uh, feel more confident uh, for uh, attempting the uh, questions so uh, today's chapter is uh, uh, sequence and series and we are taking uh, exercise uh, uh, number 1 like exercise for session 1 session 1 and uh, this uh, we will be going to solve the uh, this particular exercise okay so uh, let's start Let's start with the uh, first question. What it is saying, the first term of a sequence is 1. And n plus 1th term is obtained by adding n plus 1 to the nth term for all natural numbers n. So the uh, sixth term of the sequence is, OK. So it's like uh, uh, it has been given the first term of sequence is 1, OK. The first term of sequence is 1 and it is saying like the n plus 1th term, our n plus nth term is obtained by adding n plus 1 to the nth term. What does it mean? Our n plus 1th term is obtained by adding n plus 1 to the nth term. So this is what the question is trying to uh, tell us. Okay. So uh, from here, uh, we can write. n plus 1th term minus nth term is equal to n plus 1, right? And the question is asking uh, to find the sixth term, okay? So if you put uh, values of n here, like if we put n equal to 1 in this uh, equation, we will, uh, what we will get? We will get t2 minus t1 is equal to 1 plus 1, that is 2. So similarly, n is equal to 2. When we put n equal to 2, we will get t3 minus t2 is equal to 2 plus 1, 3. When we put n equal to 3, it will give t4 minus t3 is equal to 4. When n equal to 4, it will give t5 minus t4 is equal to 5. And finally, on putting n equal to 5, we will get t6 minus t5 is equal to 6. So adding all these equations, what we will get, you can see like uh, many terms are getting cancelled. Like this t2 will be cancelled by this t2, t3, t3, t4, minus t4, uh, t5, minus t5. So finally we get t6 minus t1 is equal to 2 plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6. Okay. And we know the uh, value of T1. It's given in the question T1 is equal to 1, right? So putting the value of T1, what we will get? We will get T6 as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. So this is nothing but uh, Nn plus 1 by 2. And what is n here? n is 6. So 6, 6 plus 1 by 2, that is 3 into 7, 3 into 7, that's 21. So our uh, sixth term will be uh, 21. So option number C is correct for this question. <clears throat> so hope uh, everyone is clear on this. So let me... 
increase some thickness for this. Okay. So uh, this is our uh, first question. Okay. So uh, let's move to the uh, next question. Question number two. So uh, what it is saying, the first three terms of a sequence are 3, 3, 6, okay? And each term after the second is the sum of the two terms preceding it. The eighth term of the sequence is, okay? So one sequence is given whose uh, first three terms are given, this 3, 3, 6, comma. This will... Uh, Proceed and the question is asking to find the eighth term. Okay. And one condition is given like each term after the second is the sum of the two terms preceding it. What does it mean? It means the nth term is equal to tn minus 2 plus tn minus 1 for n greater than 2. Right? For n greater than 2 this equation will hold. Okay. So, uh, we have to find the eighth term. So, uh, we can uh, like uh, in, uh, if uh, this relation holds for n greater than 2, so we will uh, write like, if we put n equal to 3, we get uh, t3 equal to t1 plus t2. And uh, what is T1? T1 we have uh, 3. T2 is also 3. So T3 will be 6. If we put n equal to 4, we will get T4 is equal to T2 plus T3. T2 and uh, T2 is known to us. T2 is 3. So 3 and T3 we derived uh, in the last equation, this 6. So T4 will be 9. If we put n equal to 5, uh, the fifth term we will be getting. And this will be equal to T3 plus T4. T3 is 6. T4 is 9. So 6 plus 9, this will be 15. When we put n equal to 6, we will get uh, the sixth term as t4 plus t5. And we are having the value of t4 and t5, 9 plus uh, 15, that will be 24. When we put n equal to 7, t7 will come and it will be equal to t5 plus t6. This will be T5 plus T6 means 24 plus 15. That will be 39. And finally, when we put N equal to 8, we will get our 8th term, which is uh, uh, asked in the question. It will be uh, T6. Sorry. It will be T6 plus T7. That is 24 plus 39. So 9, 4, 3, 1, 3, 3. 6. So, our eighth term is 63. This will be our answer. So, one condition was given in the question and we have done uh, nothing. We have just followed the, that condition and uh, we put the uh, different values of n and finally we uh, get the value of uh, eighth term which was asked in the question. So, option number D is correct for uh, this uh, question. I hope uh, everyone is getting so uh, we can move uh, to the next question. So uh, what was given here? If a n is equal to sine n pi by 6, the value of sigma a n square, n is going from 1 to 6. 
and an is given in terms of sine uh, sine function that is sine n pi by 6 okay so the question is asking to find the value of this sigma n equal to 1 to 6 a n square right so if we expand this sigma we will get a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square a4 square a5 square and a6 square n is going from 1 to 6 okay and what will be uh, a1 our a1 will be uh, a1 will be sine, we will put uh, 1 in place of uh, this n. So sine pi by 6, sine pi by 6 is square. What will be a2? a2 will be sine 2 pi by 6 and squared. What will be our a3? a3 will be sine 3 pi by 6 squared and similarly sine 4 pi by 6 is squared, then uh, sine 5 pi by 6 is squared, and sine 6 pi by 6 is squared. Okay. So uh, sine pi by 6, pi by 6 means uh, 30 degree. So uh, sine pi by 6 will be 1 by 2. So this will be 1 by 2 is square. Sine 2 pi by 6 is uh, sine 60 degree, that is uh, root 3 by 2 is square. Then uh, sine 3 pi by 6, sine 90 degree, that will be 1 is square. Sine 4 pi by 6, sine 1, uh, 4 into 30, sine 120 degree, This is, that is nothing but uh, cos 30 degree. That will be root 3 by 2 is squared. This sine pi by 6 will be 1 by 2 is squared. And uh, sine 6 pi by 6, sine pi is nothing but uh, sine pi is 0. So we will have uh, here 1 by 2 is square, 1 by 2 is square, like 2 times 1 by 4 plus 2 times, sorry, sir. Uh, what's going on? Sorry for the interruption. You think I have traced something? Okay. Never mind. Okay, I have not deleted this. So, so 2 times uh, 1 by 4 plus 2 times it will be uh, 3 by 4 plus 1. So, this will be 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 plus 1, 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2, 2 plus 1, 3. So, 3 will be answer to this question. Option number B is correct. Okay. So, we can uh, move forward to the uh, next question. Let's see what is the question okay here comes the question what is said if for a sequence a n s n sum of n terms is given as 2 n square plus 9 n okay where s n is the sum of n terms the value of a 20 okay some sequence is given where uh, sum of n terms is given to be 2n square plus 9n. Okay. And we have to find the value of a20 means we have to find the 20th uh, term. Okay. So it's a simple. Uh, if we uh, need to find the 20th term, we, what we have to do, we have to Take the difference of uh, sum of 20 terms and sum of 19 terms. Like if Sn is the uh, sum of n terms to, to the sequence, how do we calculate the nth term? We calculate the nth term by taking the difference of 
uh, sum of n terms and sum of n minus one terms. Okay. So similar uh, concept I have applied here also to find the 20th term. I am taking the difference of sum of 20 terms and sum of 19 terms. So what will be S of 20? S of 20, you put n equal to 20 in this uh, equation. We will get uh, uh, S20. So 2 into 20 squared minus, uh, sorry, plus 9 into 20 and minus S19. S19 means we will put n equal to 19. So 2 into 19 squared plus 9 into 19. So take 2 common from these two terms. So it will be 2 into 20 squared uh, minus 19 squared and uh, take uh, 9 uh, common from these two terms. So it will give 9 20 minus 19. Okay. So it will be 2 into a square minus b square means 20 plus 19 and 20 minus 19 plus 9 into 1. So this will be 2 into 39 into 1 plus 9. This will be 2 into 39. Uh, 78 plus 9 that will be nothing but 87. So 87 is there. Uh, uh, option C. Option C is correct for this question. Okay. Uh, let me. Th this question is done now uh, anyway. But uh, let me uh, tell you something else. The sum of n terms as per question, the sum of n terms is given as. 2n square plus 9n. So uh, definitely this uh, series uh, an will be in AP. This series, this uh, sorry, this uh, uh, sequence will be in AP. Why? Because the sum of n terms is of the form an square. We know if the uh, sum of n terms is of form an square plus bn. This represents a uh, AP and the nth term and the nth term of this uh, series can be written as A into 2N minus 1 plus B. Okay. <clears throat> so these things I wish to uh, like uh, convey to all like uh, this thing. Uh, should be known by uh, all the students who are uh, like preparing for GE and all competitive exams. So nth term will be given by uh, a into 2n minus 1 plus b. What is a here? a is 2 here because sn is 2n square. The coefficient of uh, n square is a basically. So a is 2 here and the coefficient of uh, uh, n is b. So what is b? b is 9. b is Nine. So uh, directly we can uh, get the nth term as two into nth term means this twentieth uh, term. So here is this. So twentieth uh, term will be uh, two into forty minus one plus nine. So this will be two into thirty nine plus nine. That will be nothing but uh, 2 into 39, 78 plus 9, 87. So anyway, you can go uh, through either uh, method, either this or that. Uh, you are going to uh, find the same result. <clears throat> so this question is done. Moving to the uh, next question. So uh, this is the next question, question number five. Uh, I think uh, some error is there in this question. Let me correct it. 
a1 equal to this, a2 is this, uh, an equal to 2 times an minus 1 plus 5 for n greater than, for n greater than 2. This will be 2, for n greater than 2. In question, it was given as n greater than 1, but uh, n should be greater than 2. So what's the question? Question is saying, if a1 is equal to 2, a2 is equal to uh, 3 plus a1 and nth term is given as 2 a n minus 1 plus 5 for n greater than 2. The value of sigma a r r from r is going from 2 to 5. Okay. So what is given? Let me uh, write first. So a1 is given to be a1 is given to be 2. Uh, a2 is given as 3 plus a1. 3 plus a1 and a n is given as 2 times a n minus 1 plus 5 or n greater than 2. Okay. <clears throat> and what is asked basically? We have to find this sigma a r where r is going from r is going from 2 to 5. So, if we expand it, we need to find the summation of A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus A5. Where A1, uh, where A2 is known to us. What is A2? A2 is 3 plus A1. A1 is known to, so A2 will be basically 3 plus 2. That is nothing but 5. Uh, let me find the value of a3. So putting n equal to 3, we can find a3. So what will be a3? a3 will be equal to 2 into a2 plus 5. And we know the value of a2. a2 is 5. So it will be 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. And what will be a4? a4 will be 2 times a3 plus 5 a3 is 15, so 2 times of A3 will be 30 plus 5. This will be 35. And uh, what will be A5? A5 will be 2 times A4 plus 5. 2 times A4 will be 2 into 35. That will be 70 plus 5 is equal to 75. So we are done. Just we have to add the values of A2, A3, A4 and A5. So A2 is 5, A3 is 15, A4 is uh, 35, A5 is 75. So 5 plus 15, this will be 20 plus 70, 30, 100, 110 plus 20, that will be 130. So this will be answer to these questions. So option number A is correct for this question. So I think uh, we are done with uh, this exercise, exercise number one. In the uh, subsequent uh, videos, in the coming videos, I will be again, uh, I will be uh, providing solutions for the uh, next exercise, like exercise two and exercise three. So in similar fashion, this video series will uh, continue. And uh, I suggest to uh, utilize this video series to the uh, maximum so that uh, so that like uh, you can gain confidence in preparing uh, and in uh, solving this uh, Arihantpo. So uh, that's all for today. And uh, Soon uh, we will meet again. So thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone. Okay.